Um, for today's video, we'll be creating a automatic camera rotation system or more like an adjustment system. So what we're trying to do is when the camera, when the player is moving around, uh, normally it doesn't really matter if where you, which where you're, uh, if you're moving to the direction where you're facing. However, uh, things can be a little f inconvenient, so to say, when the player character is moving towards the camera. So normally for a third-person shooter games like uh, Fortnite or uh in terms of perspective and the rule of uh, the camera movement rules uh god of war the newer series would also apply for that uh, it doesn't really matter but normally for a game that has like a free camera view around the player character uh let's say um genshin impact breath of the wild um uh dark souls elden rings those uh, third-person games and The Witcher, uh, also like The Witcher Three. When the character, the character's uh, facing direction has nothing to do with the camera. Um, so when we're moving towards the camera, we want to kind of adjust it so the player character can, the camera adjusts itself to see to face the direction of the player, uh, direction the player is moving towards towards to. And when they're from, and we can also create variables to adjust the the angle difference amount that we want the camera auto rotation to work. And uh, right down here on the bottom left, I have just a simple UI just to visualize the movement inputs axis value. So I'll be testing on gamepad and. Uh, keyboard too so normally the thing is when you're playing video games using keyboard and mouse this doesn't really become an issue because your inputs for actions the left mouse button and the right mouse button is simultaneously available while you're moving uh, the camera's viewpoint with the mouse axis movement right so you can move and do actions like so without any much difficulty however when you're using a gamepad so you can see that there's no keystrokes coming up on the screen that means i'm using the gamepad right now when you're using the gamepad when you're trying to move the camera and do some actions the problem is you only have one thumb or unless or you have to kind of for some hardcore players i guess or, uh you might also try to use your index finger like place it on top of the face buttons and then do some actions while you're moving the camera so to kind of help with that uh, I, th I think this feature usually helps a lot with players trying to play with a gamepad so they don't have to keep turning the cameras around and having to let go uh, sacrifice uh, the availability for face buttons when they're moving the camera so yes that's what we're trying to do creating an auto adjusting camera system and also even though if you're using keyboard and mouse like if you're not really using your mouse at the moment we're also trying to create we also will also create a automatic camera adjust system for it. so if this is like the default position of your camera and then you turn it off here you move your character uh, you, you move a character oh, sorry <laughs> you move your uh camera position here location a uh, rotation here it's gonna go back and adjust to itself like or like like so so first off we'll start with the adjustments and this is i i did create a custom character blueprint for it but basically it's it's just the third person basically a uh, character with the ui uh elements added to it just so i can uh, visualize this to to you all and we'll be using the enhanced input action a little bit so we'll take that in mind uh, keep that in mind first off we need to get the direction of the movement and 
the degree of differences between the character's move, the facing, uh, the character's moving direction or the facing direction, and the difference between it and the movement input. So here, this would be the camera would be facing forward, and the char character would be facing towards the camera. And this would be, and then here it would be a 90 degrees to the left and 90 degrees to the right. So we'll need to get that first. Uh, let's create a function to get the difference of it. We'll just call it calculate the angular difference. And so, like I said, here, we want to get the difference between the angle difference, yaw, the, it's just the yaw for now, the yaw difference between the character's moving direction and the camera's facing direction. So let's go here. When we're, the camera is using this camera boom's rotation, right? So, which is inheriting the pawn control rotation. It's, I mean, using the pawn control rotation. So basically we can just get aim rotation and that's it for what we need. Because if you if you see here, we can just print these two. Uh, just to see the rotation. World, world, rotation. And then we'll just t stick this into a tick. A tick. Just stick it in here. And we'll leave the tick on the right side. Compile. Uh, and just so we can kind of see the difference. This is going to be a pink. That's going to be a blue. So the th you can see here that it doesn't really show anything for the blue one. The, it's just zero 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 right because it's using the control rotation controller rotation so we don't really need to use this rotation right so we can see that we just need to get the control rotations uh, values got that uh, base rotation and then we're going to get the forward direction of the capsule so Right now, we normally, well, I wouldn't say normally, but for the game that we're thinking about in this case is a camera, uh, it's a video game where the character is orienting towards its movement, right? So this is going to be orienting towards the mo uh, movement. This is going to face the movement direction. So we just need to get the world direction of the capture component, which is the root component. Get this. Can get a delta rotator and this basically gives spits out the difference we can see here so here it's zero when it's completely in line 90 degrees minus 90 degrees 180 degrees so and then here we can just kind of see it going it's uh, we can see it updating <coughs> So that's what we need. And then we're going to, let's promote this to a local variable for now. Raw difference. So uh, I'm gonna watch this value play. You can see, oh, well, we can't see it here. Uh, let's just print it. I do a lot of printing while I'm working, just to kind of check. Zero, if it's looking, if it's facing the right, so it starts here zero, and then throughout the right side, it goes all the way to positive 180. And then on the left side, it goes all the way to positive 100 and, I mean negative 180. We need to get these two differences, so 
depending on it being a zero. We're going to adjust it a bit differently. So when we're faced, so when we're trying to move rightwards, we want the camera to rotate to the back, right? So it has to add the the corresponding uh, yaw uh, yaw into this direction. And when we're uh, when we're running onto the left direction, we want the camera to kind of adjust it towards it towards the back again. So here we go. Yaw difference. We're going to add a controller yaw inputs. And then here, you can just for the sake of checking, have one for the 10, one minus 10. And when it's, uh, when the yaw difference is in a positive value, we'll be adding 10 every tick and then minus 10 every tick if the yaw difference is uh, bigger than zero and this is when it's less than zero then watch here oh so what's happening is it's not moving right the character is not moving and it's still adjusting so we want this to happen when the character is moving when it's standing still we don't need it right so here we're just going to add a check and just get the active velocity uh, movement velocity or accelerating because the thing is if you just use a velocity when you're jumping or maybe so if any for any reason your your character can move without the uh, player's uh, purpose like purposely without the player purposely moving it we wouldn't really want the camera to adjust it because I, I would imagine that'd be a special case when it's falling down Technically, its velocity is above zero because it's moving. It's moving from one position to another, and do we want that to adjust in those situations? Maybe, probably not. So, I would say when the character is moving, but with the player's intent. So, I would go with having a movement input value. So, movement movement input vector. So, if the last movement input vector. And the length of more than zero. That's when we check the uh, yaw difference. So here, nothing. You can see here, nothing's going on. And then when it's um, moving around, it starts firing. And uh, maybe this is a bit too big. Right? So it's working. I think it's a bit, it's moving the wrong. Yeah, it's going the other direction. So let's change shift these minus one. I put in 10 for demonstration purposes, but it seems it's a lot, a lot larger than I expected. Yes, this is what I want. Okay. The thing is though, now we've got, now we have it set, right? Well, the player character is moving around we have it kind of adjusting but the thing is usually when we're moving forward or anything or a little diagonally forward we don't really want it so we want to create a rule set where we want we need a condition to tell it to use this adjustment system when it's moving towards the camera or not and remember what we had before the yaw difference. Let's see it again. If you look at the yaw difference, 90 minus 90. So usually, so it's if it's if you're going uh, totally perpendicular to the left, it'll be a 90, right? And then perpendicular to the I mean left would be 90 perpendicularly right to the right would be nine minus 90 degrees so the absolute value is going to be the same it's going to be above 90 if we wanted to uh start rotating so here we're going to get the before we check if it's a 
a positive or negative value. I mean, actually, let's just switch this to a select node. Select float. And then if it's true, we want it to go to minus one. And then if it's uh, false, we want it to use zero, uh, one. That's the, And then before we go here, absolute value is larger greater or equal yeah let's go to equal then we want this to happen you know the auto adjust the auto rotating uh feature to happen and uh, good and we can also promote this to a variable and say start uh, adjust threshold start threshold let's just start threshold yeah, let's call it that and then if we set it to 90 we'll see that when we're going forward or diagonally forward nothing's gonna happen you can see the input uh on the visualizer over there the key key input keystroke nothing's happening but when i start going 90 degrees it starts rotating and then here also it starts rotating like so so when we're doing this, the player, when the player is trying to move uh, diagonally to the right, right back side of or that direction, without using the the right mouse, the right joystick, you can kind of rotate towards it, right? But you can see the problem here. It's very prominent. The speed is just way too fast. It's just way too fast. So. Let's create a map range clamped function for that here. So depending on, I would imagine, I mean, it depends on the needs of the game design, obviously, but I would imagine that for 90 degrees, it would be much more uh, faster. I mean, uh, slower. And then if it's going, if it's closer to an uh, absolute value of 180 degrees, it might be faster or vice versa. And as long as we param param create this into a separate variable so we can par parameterize it, uh, we can always play, to play around with it, right? So let's just start with, it starts with 90. And then I, I mean, so for some games, I would imagine using a 135 degrees as a starting value because even for 90 degrees, sometimes you just want to kind of stay uh, and keep that perspective looking forward, right? And then just kind of adjust it using with this but when the when there's like an enemy behind me and i want to take a look and if i want to quickly look at it i don't want to have to use my camera inputs and then move towards it or rather i want to spare my thumb to use an attack button and then when i look at it it just automatically uh, turns towards that direction um obviously you can also have like a different camera system to happen during a, a cam uh, a combat but this is one way you can do it. So here, <clears throat> let's, we're going to map this value. So it's minus one to uh, one. Well, so this is the scale, right? Basically, this is the scale of the value. So we're going to map this value clamped. And then we'll stick it in here and it's going to go from hold on yeah let's just try it though so it's a range from a to b and what's going to happen is we're going to take the yaw difference so oops yaw difference and then we're going to get the yaw difference from a which is which can be from zero to so it could be like so it's going this way and then this would be uh, this would be a zero 90 180 minus i mean zero minus 90 minus 180 and then zero 90 and uh 180 and we want it to start from 135 degrees to 180 in absolute value and then depending on the absolute value 
we want it to um, be stronger or weaker or we can just map uh, map it right and then later on if we really really want to adjust it in a more uh, detailed manner we can maybe uh, create a parameter using a curve table or what's not but that's not that's out of the scope for this video so we'll just leave it at that so here we get the absolute value of the yaw difference and then depending on it it's going to start from The max is going to always be 180, right? So it's going to be 180. And the yaw difference would be uh, from zero. Oh wait, it's, oh my bad. So the, it's always, the yaw difference is always going to be from zero to 180 in terms of uh, the difference. So we're going to get that, get the absolute value. And then we're going to use this value to map range, a uh, map range with a clamped value of something to something. And then minus one to one. That would be it because. Oh, it's going to be, oh, the strength zero. And then the yaw difference is going to be from the adjust start threshold. The, uh, the range and then the real difference here so what's going to what's happening here is we get the difference of the yaw we take the keep the value in and then we map it from the range a to range b so if this is uh 135 degrees from 135 degrees to 180 we're going to have a starting adjust value here at 0 0.2 and then uh, let's go to 0 0.5 and then we're going to add a yaw input uh we're going to feed it into the value of add controller yaw input the thing here it's we're missing the minus one or zero or one a zero a minus one or one value to it so we just need to multiply it here and then that should fix it and compile you go here play move around forward to 135 degrees nothing happening and then here and then one we can see it's much faster when we're going uh, backwards and then slow slow fast and if you want to adjust it you can just go to the a uh, where is it yeah, the adjust start threshold. Let's say maybe we want the we want it to start rotating a little bit more at a I mean at a lower value. So it's like 110, let's say. And then for also these, we can just create uh, them into prom uh, values. I mean, I mean variables here. Out range, uh, adjust speed min. And then we can just. Uh, create another variable adjust speed max and we'll make this and maybe it was too slow so we can go 0 0.15 for the min speed and for the max speed like a 0 0.7 and then it's fast and much faster that's it and but there are some games that have a different logic for this so even though they're rotating uh while they're moving towards the camera so let's say, let's just play some cubes here just so it's easier to kind of visualize it in a more similar uh situation to a video game let's say we have like a pillar here a pillar here and a pillar here the pillar here great so here if i'm moving to this pillar and then i want to check the pillar on the like behind me normally i'd have to move a lot of the camera this way like 180 degrees and then move forward but it, maybe i just want to do something else with my right uh, thumb finger so 
I can just kind of rotate it a little bit and then go this way and then this way and then if I do it this way then I, I can freely use my thumbsticks I mean my right uh, right thumb to do other stuff it's a little wonky because it's at like 80 I'm 110 degrees but then also if you want to move the camera towards so like sometimes like it's really well not sometimes like for some games they prevent the camera adjustments when moving towards the camera and i think that's actually a better design choice because when you're moving backwards usually you still have your focus on so like let's say if this is the enemy and i'm moving backwards i don't want the camera to adjust because i still want to keep my focus on it right when i'm moving right or left maybe when i'm running away but it's a little different situation because when you're just moving around you want to look at the direction where you uh trying to move towards to um i mean this is just like a lot of game design stuff that's with with way too much consideration so i'll just uh skip all those um extra dis uh extra details and let's just focus on maybe let's just say, say you want to create a game where when you have a camera adjustment system but when you're moving towards the camera you don't want it to uh move around and then then we know you then basically you just need to create another uh condition check for it so it's, we have an adjust start threshold you just have to adjust stop threshold just put these together and actually these two like i don't know about the names it's a little let's uh it sounds weird and just say at max admin well never mind i'll just leave this and then let's go back um yaw difference where were we oh yes so we have a yaw difference stop us uh, and then on adjust start threshold and then we have an adjust stop threshold and we want the value to be in between these right so just we'll just add an end just move this a little bit here and then end and then this absolute value of your difference is smaller less than equal Oops. this is less than equal than the adjust stop threshold then we pick that in and then this is going to be 110 let's say this is uh 170 oops 170 then when we're moving one the yaw difference is uh in between if i just visualize this this is 0 90 180 right so if it's between 170 and 180 it's not going to rotate which seems a bit too small of a span so let's go back to a we and I, as long as let's just adjust it a little bit so 200 160 degrees set the just start threshold angle to 100 degrees and then the speed here it's 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 let's make it a bit slower 0 0.5 so when it's closer to, and then the thing is oh then yeah i forgot to yeah once once we have the adjust start threshold and the stop threshold we want to have the mapping ranged towards that unless you really want to have it like set at uh 180 you can leave it at that but I would imagine as a game designer you normally want to have it mapped to a specific value so they match just so they just match so it's easier to manage and it's more intuitive to control so here I'll just stop threshold 100 100 and, and then 160 0 0.5 to if you want to keep it the same you can just use the same values obviously uh, 0 0.5 to if it's closer towards the back maybe we want it to go slower so we can just go to 2 and then if we play the game it's a bit faster when we're towards 100 100 and then slower when we're going towards 160 
16 if that's correct so and then i think it feels weird i think it should be the other way around 0 0.2 and then 0 0.5 and then here yep this feels a bit more uh natural and the thing is like when you're you don't and that's basically the first part of it right so when the player isn't using the camera input like so uh and then they want to move around and the camera automatically adjusts to the direction they're wanting to go to let's say i want to go to this queue while i'm facing this way i move a little bit here and then i can face it and then if i go here and then i want to face the cube on the uh back right i can just kind of go through this and then move it a little bit here so i don't have to i mean i do still have to adjust my camera a little bit but i don't have to adjust it as much as i needed to from simply here to uh, turning 180 degrees <clears throat> so here uh oh but then when the, when we have a camera input in in the working when we're actually using the camera we don't want we want it to kind of stop because normally when we're playing a video game and we're one we were we want to control the camera we really want to honor the player's camera control right so if there's no input we let the let this a feature uh, working but then when the when the a player has some input, we'll stop the rotation feature, the auto rotating feature. Um, this video is pretty long, so I'll think I think that'll be a feature that will I'll be sharing on the next video.